Hello, and welcome to another training session with Power BI. Now, this time we're going to have a look at the RAG status. Now, what is that? It's the red, amber, green. I had to look that up, believe it or not. What is the RAG status? So, it's the red, amber, green status. Now, in Excel, you may be aware that you can go and you can do conditional formatting so that you can change whether uh, a cell or not meets a certain criteria. And if it does, then you can put a red if they haven't met it, maybe an amber if they're in between and a green if they've hit it, a particular target. It's all part of the uh, wonderful array of information and the under the remit of KPIs. So that's what we're going to look at uh, today. Now, I've got Excel 2016 here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to create a basic spreadsheet. We're going to convert it into a table. And then we are going to bring it into the Power BI desktop version. So now you can see the Power BI desktop version. If I zoom in, you can see up here there we've got the Power BI desktop. So you will need to download the desktop version. I'll put a link on the video at this moment in time so you can see where you would download that version from. So first, let's create our spreadsheet in Excel. I want you to double click on Excel 2016 and Excel will open up on the computer. I'm going to go and click on blank workbook. And then over here on the left hand side, if I zoom in, we're just going to type in some basic details. So the first a lot of details is going to, I'm going to type in. I'm typing a few headers. So first one is salesperson, and then I'm going to press tab to just move across. The second one I'm going to uh, type is sales, which will be their sales amounts. And the third will be the target. All right, let's just make our columns a little wider here. There we go. Actually, if I highlight all of that and double click, it does it all at once. All right, so the first person is going to be John. Second person is going to be Jane. Uh, the third person is going to be Trisha. And the fourth person is going to be Colin. So there we go. John, Jane, Trisha, and Colin. So each of them have particular sales. So um, John got 99 sales. Jane got 120 sales. Trisha got, uh, let's say, 80 sales. And Colin got 108 sales. Now, they all had to reach a particular target. And what was that target? Well, that target was 100 sales. I'm going to type in 100 and then double click just to auto fill that down. Now, the next thing that you need to do here is to convert this, uh, this range of data into a table. This is how you do it. Firstly, I want you to click on any cell within the data range. It can be any cell. It doesn't really matter. But just make sure you, that you click on one cell. The next uh, stage to this is I'm going to get you to click on the Home tab. Or just make sure that you're clicked on the Home tab there. And then if you go across and move across, there is a button that says format as table. So you see that format as table button? I'm, get, I'm gonna get you to click on that drop down list and you can see a wonderful array of, a rainbow choice of colors going on here. So you can have light if you're into the light colors. You can have medium if you're getting a little bit more darker in the colors or if you want to have the dark colors, you can choose these dark colors down here. There are more styles and table styles available. You can create your own custom style. I don't cover that in this video. Please keep a lookout for more videos that you'll talk about these particular styles. But what I'm going to go with, go with is I'm going to be very boring. I'm going to go with this blue one just here. The blue table style medium 13. It looks good. So I'm going to click on that. Now, as you look down here, you can see with the formatters table box, uh, you can see the range for the data. Notice the dollar signs. So if you're used to or well, not used to absolute references, please make a chance or take the opportunity to look at the absolute references video. Now, in particular, I want to draw your attention to this bit where it says my table has headers. So what that means is 
when this is formed or made into a table what Excel will do is it will ensure that these bits here are headers table headers so let's just click on OK for that it's converted into a table there's many benefits that come with that again I don't go through that in this video so the next thing I want you to do is name the table so if we just show you here that's where we name the table don't use any spaces in the table name so I'm just going to highlight the table name here and I'm going to call that sales persons and just press enter remember to press enter sometimes if you don't Excel seems to forget so now we're ready to save our data so I'm going to click on the save button and I'm going to go to my OneDrive and then I'm going to go to computer tutoring and I have a folder called muckabouts and in the folder called muckabouts I have a power bi folder so you can see many different files that I've got there I'm going to give this one here rag kpi sales persons I think that's an original name you can call this file whatever you want so now we're going to click on save and that's pretty much it for Excel it's saved in its Excel it's in Excel it's saved it's a table that's everything we've done so first thing we've created our data notice our column heading is here across the top uh, then we've put all of our data in rows just like standard normalization I suppose you could say you could split it up or bring it or model the data as you wish and then we've got a sales in there and we've got a target so we're going to do the if statement within Power BI so the first thing we need to do is bring this spreadsheet into Power BI now you can do this while this spreadsheet's open if you want but I'm going to close down the spreadsheet so if I close that down and then I'm going to double click on Power BI and this is Power BI desktop to open up the Power BI desktop and you can see it's opening up on my left screen there so I'm just going to bring it in the middle so you can see hey ho there's my Power BI desktop I'm just going to close down this splash screen here because I'm going to get data from the ribbon so if you go up and you see here where it says get data I want you to click on that so if we click on get data and if we click on Excel and now we can find our Excel spreadsheet so here's my rag Excel spreadsheet so I'm going to click on that and click on open and it will load that Excel table into Power BI but I've got to select the table first and here we can see the sheet which is the sheet or the only sheet that was in Excel and now I've got salespersons so if I check salespersons I can look on the right hand side and I can see the data coming into Power BI it's such a wonderful feeling isn't it so now we're going to click on load and then the data will load up into Excel and then we're going to uh, rather sorry Power BI and now we're going to have a look and see the data and we need to create a KPI so we'll start off with a basic if statement just to get you accustomed to it and then we'll get into a nested if statement and in that way you can see how you can do the red amber and green so let's have a look at the data so if I look on the data view just over here on this left hand side so if you click on this data view button and you can see the data so if I just zoom in so you can see you can see the data is exactly the same as it was in Excel so now I need to go to the modeling tab here at the top so if you click on the modeling tab so you click on the modeling tab because we need to create a new column so if we go down to and we're going to click on new column so we've clicked on modeling and we've clicked on new column so that's how we create a new column so now we need to put a calculation this if statement inside the column so what I'm gonna do is uh, you give the name of this here so what I'm gonna do is call this one KPI indicator okay so KB in fact I just just call it KPI I'll call it R A G because that's eventually what I will do so I'm going to click over here and just to the right of this equal sign and now I'm going to type in my calculation so what I need to do is basically check to see if the sales are greater than the target and if so I want it to show a little picture a little icon of an up a green up arrow and I'll show you where you can get that from there are many places but I've got a special place located to make it easier if you feel that you want another icon I can actually add extra icons there for you at your request 
So let's put in the if statement. So it's going to be if open brackets sales. So I'm just going to type in an open square bracket. And if you look just closely here, you can see when I press my open square bracket there, you can see the list of all of the fields within this table. So let's just go back or oh, let me just delete that and put my square bracket in. So I'm interested in the sales. So if the sales is greater than or equal to the target. So in this time I'm pressing open square bracket and double clicking on target. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that. Do so you see if the sales is so if the sales is greater than or equal to so you notice there the greater than and equal to symbol target so that's the field name there target so that's good so if that's the case if they're greater than and equal to the target which is 100 in every case here i'm pressing a comma so now i want to return a value of true so if, if they've got their target i want a nice green arrow that points upwards to show you, yeah we've got the target so what we're going to do here is go open up the double quotation mark now we're going to go and get this green arrow. So I'll give you a website location. If you go to Google Chrome and then if you type in the following address. So at the top, the address is www.computertutoring.co.uk forward slash power bi dash rag dash icons. Don't need the forward slash at the end if you press enter and then it will come up with this screen here. So let me just zoom in so you can see the address at the top and I will also put it in the link below. So the address here is www.computertutoring.co.uk forward slash power bi hyphen rag hyphen icons. So I hope that's clear for you there. So here I've got a few icons and as I said I can add few um, icons if needed. So I've got a nice one here, the green up arrow. Uh, if you want to see an icon and you can click once on it, it will show it here. If I just click on the back button to go back or I've taken the liberty of putting the link to the icon below each one. So I'm going to use red, amber or red orange, <laughs> I should say amber and green here. So let's just do the first one, okay? So if it's greater, if they've met the target, we want it to be green. So let's highlight the text here for this green circle. So I'm gonna highlight all the way across. I'm just gonna right click and copy. And now I'm going to swap back by pressing Alt Tab to Power BI. There we go. And then up at the top, I'm going to paste. So there we go, it's going to paste the green circle. I'm just going to finish off my quotation marks and a comma. So just make a wee note there and just note that I've put double quotation marks here at the beginning and oops, sorry, and I've also put double quotation marks here at the end in between. Um, so, so it's basically the, the link is within quotations. So that's if they get their target. If they don't get their target, they're going to get a red. So I'm going to open double quotation marks. I will swap back to Google. Ooh, I thought I had the address there. Let's just get the right. Uh, there we go. Yeah. And this time it's red. So I'm going to highlight the hyperlink for the red and right click and copy. I'm going to swap back to Power BI here at the bottom. And I'm going to right click and uh, I'm just going to control and V to paste. So press control and V to paste. My right click didn't work there. I'm going to close off my quotation marks and close off my brackets. Now, just going to zoom in just to go through this one more time. So there we go. The first part is the if formula. So that's the first part of it. The next part of this is oops the next part of it is sales target if the sales target is or the sales is actually greater than or equal to the target if that's the case then we will
put in the green circle. Otherwise, we will put in the red circle. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to press enter and hope that no errors appear. So let's have a look. Great, that's fine. I've got my KPI rag, rag there, that's fine. So what I need to do just before I start to make a visualization out of this, I need to tell Power BI that this is an image URL field. So how do I do that? So I make sure I've got the field selected. I make sure I have the modeling tab selected because on the modeling tab, there's a data category option. So you see that one, the data category. At the moment, it says uncategorized. So I'm going to click on this drop down list and I'm going to choose image URL. So it's image URL just there. Okay. So now this will be recognized as an image URL. So now we're ready to make our visualization. So if we click on the reports button just on the left hand side here. So if you've not familiar with that, it's just on the left. So we click on that reports button. We're going to use this uh, table. This generally works well on a table. So if we click on the table visualization and here's our table visualization. So the first thing we're going to add to that is the sales. Just move myself over here a little bit. So we're going to drag sales across. So we're going to drag sales, sorry, not sales. We're going to drag sales person across. So if I drag sales to values, uh, sales person to values, if I look in my data, you can see eventually it will appear. Just zoom back. There we go. So we've got a list of all the salespeople here. Now I want to see their KPI rag. So I'm just going to drag that underneath salesperson. And now you can see I've got nice dots here and I've got like a green dot and a red dot. I can also make this bigger and adjust it. Look for the, you can look at another training uh, course and we've got another training video that covers a general introduction to Power BI and doing these vi uh, visualizations. So this is good. Uh, what we want to do is just change it a little bit. Now, if I go back to my data, I notice that Okay, John and Trisha, they didn't meet their target. And I can see John and Trisha there, they didn't meet their target. However, Colin met his target, that's great, but Jane went well over a target. So we could do another or a nested if statement to check the value to see, okay, if it's between, uh, say for instance, it's 100 plus 10, you know, the target that's that's like maybe 10 over the target, you will get the green. If not, you get an amber because it's OK. And if not, you will get the red. So this is what we're going to do here. We're just going to adjust this a little bit. So the first thing we need to do is I'm just going to click on this button just here. So you can see down here there's a button and that expands the formula window. So if I click on this, it expands the formula window. I can now use the shift key and then bring the lines down. So what do I mean by that? So the first thing is, is sometimes looking at this all in one big clump or one big long line can be really difficult. So what we're going to do is hold down the shift key, just click just before, see where I've clicked there, just before the double quotation marks. And then I'm going to hold the shift key down and press enter just to bring that down to a new line. So now if the sales is greater than and equal to target, I now need to check to see if it's greater or equal to the target plus 10. So that's what we're going to type in there. So if the sales is greater than or equal to, and I'm going to open my square brackets just for making sure an order, order prefer, preference here, and then targets plus 10, close bracket, comma. So just zoom in so you can see that one here. So basically, I'm saying if the sales is greater than or equal to 10 over the target, so the target at the moment is 100. So if it's 110 or greater, it will be green. So there we go. We've got our green one there. Excellent. Otherwise, it's going to be amber. So let's find the amber one and put that in. So I'm just to open quotation marks here. I'm going to swap back to my website here. And then let me just move myself out of the way a little bit. And here's my amber. So I'm just going to highlight my text here like so and copy it. Swap back to Power BI and make sure I get the right one. Brilliant. And then back up in the formula, I'm just going to paste the amber. Okay. So that's if it happens 
to be above 100. I've still met my target, but I haven't reached the target plus 10, the superlative target. That's great. So I can close off my brackets for my first if statement. So that's my first if statement there. And then last but not least, I can put a comma in and that finishes our, our last if statement there. So let me just bring that down. So I'm just going to click on the just after the first comma there or just before the one for the orange and the quotation marks and press shift and enter to bring that down to one. That's good. And then I'm going to just do the same with this shift and enter to bring that down there. So let me just click away and then zoom in so you can just see the actual formula themselves so we can go through that. So the first part of the formula is if the sales target, if the sales is greater than or equal to the target, that's fantastic, good news. Then the next part of it is if it's greater than the target plus 10. So it's checking that extra condition there. So if that's the case, so if that's the case, then it will put in the green circle. So it's the green circle. That's the top nut, notch one. Okay, otherwise, it's okay. You know, it will be the orange circle. So that's okay. Or lastly, it's going to be the red one for those who haven't met the target because it hasn't met the first if statement. It hasn't met that one there. So it's going to be red. Let's zoom back and let's give this one a test. So firstly, let's press enter, see if we've got any errors. No errors, if there is, there's a yellow bar that will appear across the bottom here. I'm just going to collapse the formula bar and then I'm going to go back to my visualizations and now, Colin, I'm sorry, it looks like that you've got amber instead of green. So next um, uh, time the sales come in or next month or whatever period that we are tracking these sales for, then we hope that Colin will do better next time. So please like this video if you found it helpful. And if you want to see more videos, there will be more Power BI, Power BI videos coming up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have Excel and Outlook and many other videos that are coming on and are already on this channel. Thank you so much for watching.